Devach, everybody. So I'll tell you, Maisa, you know, the Tzemach Tzedek, the third Lubavitch Rebbe, was a Tzadik Yisrael Olam and a genius of geniuses in Tyre and Nigla and Nister. Uh, uh, one of the Gedolei Hadar on all levels. And so he was, he was raised in the house of the Balatanya. So the Maisa goes that after the Balatanya passed away, so every once in a while, every once in a while, the Balatanya would visit his grandson, the Tzemach Tzedek, in a dream at night. And uh, some questions that the, Bal- that the Tzemach Tzedek would have in learning, the Balatanya would give answers to. Sometimes the answers were clear, sometimes they weren't so clear, and so on. Now it happens to be there was a particular time where the Tzemach Tzedek was learning a particular topic, and he had a lot of kashas on this, on this sogi, on this topic. And he was davening very, very much that his grandfather should visit him. But uh, there's no answer. No one's uh, answering him. The Balatanya is not coming. Weeks like this. And it's just eating him up inside. For whatever reason, the Balatanya is not coming anymore. And he's remaining with these questions. Okay, it is what it is. So it happens to be one particular morning. The Tzemach Tzedek is on his way to Shul, Shachris. And it happens to be that day was the Shuk. It was the day of the fair. The day there was a fair in Lubavitch where a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, businessmen would come from different shtetlach to uh, to uh, try to make a profit and so on in the day of the shuk, and so the Baltanya, the, the Tzemach Tzedek is is traveling to shul, and there happens to be a yid that's uh, you know that uh, the Tzemach Tzedek was familiar with this yid, uh, an honest Jew, you know, worked very hard to make a living, and clearly it seemed that he was that he was preparing himself to get involved with the uh, with the shuk with the with the fair that day. And so he comes to the Tzemach Tzedek with a very innocent question. He says, Rabbi, I, I, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sure you're very busy. But is it possible if I could borrow like 15 ruble? There's certain thing I need to purchase today, whatever it is. 15 ruble, if you could help me. That would, that would uh, really, really help. So the Tzemach Tzedek said, Yankel, for sure, I'm happy to lend you the money. It happens to be I don't have my wallet on me. I have it at home. Um, but, so if you don't mind, I'll, I'm on my way to shul for Shachris after davening. I'll stop at my house and I'll and I'll and I'll and we'll meet uh, by my house after davening, and I'll lend you the money. See, it's, it's okay, fine, thank you very much. And he goes on. So instead, he goes to shul. He puts his talus, you know, over his shoulder, checking the tzitzis, about to put on talus and fill on. And he has this nagging feeling like he did something that was not right. He's thinking to himself, you know, listen, this yid obviously is is involved today with the shuk, and he's trying to make a pranasa. And maybe, maybe it's possible that by the time davening is over and I get home and I lend him the money, maybe some of the deals that he would have made would have been, would have been missed. So I feel like I should have, I should have, I should have like taken care of it then. He says, you know what? It's not too late. I'll take care of it now. He puts his talisman still in back and uh, he just, he runs home, gets the money. Now he doesn't know where this yid is because they're supposed to meet up after davening by his house right now. Who knows where he is? But the Tzemach Tzedek decides that's just the Yitzhar trying to stop me from doing the right thing. I'm going to go home, get my wallet, and I'll find him. And that's what the Tzemach Tzedek does. He goes home, steps, sk- skips, uh, you know, he stops, the, doesn't down with the minion that morning. He'll dive in later, obviously. He goes home, gets the 15 ruble, and starts just walking through the shuk, just randomly, you know, uh, wandering the streets, looking for this yid. Until finally, after a little bit of time, Yitaka finds him. And the yid is so thankful. Thank you so much. You have to do this. I was happy to wait till later, but... I very much appreciate having the money now, you know, like, like the Rebbe thought of, it was concerned about, maybe there's deals that I would have been missing. Okay, but thank you so much. It's already late. Tzemach Tzedek runs back to Shul to go daven. He puts his talus back on his shoulder, about to put on talus and tefillin. He wraps himself with talus and tefillin, and all of a sudden, a vision appears to him of his grandfather. But now it's not while he's sleeping at night, now it's Malmish while he's awake, with the, the absolute clarity. And now the Balatanya, answers all the questions that the that someone said that was bothered by with absolute certain unbelievably deep answers and even and 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 the Baltanya even gives him some openings in, in future sugas that he's going to learn to uh, preemptively answer some questions that will come to him. It's not much one of the biggest visions of his whole life. And so after the conversation, so to speak, with between him and his grandfather, so that someone said is bothered, like why is he Zaycha to this right now? So that Samach said that the, the Baltanya told his grandson, he said, listen, let me tell you something. There's a person can do many mitzvahs, many mitzvahs to open certain gates in Shemaim. But the biggest key to open the biggest gates is doing a taiva for another yid. You do a taiva for another yid with, with Mesir's Nefesh and with and Lashem Shemaim, that, that opens up the biggest hechalas, the biggest chambers, the biggest, the biggest doors in Shemaim is opened by that, by that key that's called 
Avis Yisrael, that's called Gemilas Chasad, and where the Yid was Mesiris Nefesh. And that some, the Baltanya said, I know how much Davni Shacharis on time means to you. And for other people, it might not be such Mesiris Nefesh, but for you, what you did to not dive in, in, the, in your normal way, in your normal time, and to go out of your way to find this guy, to give him the 15 ruble, that was only Mesiris Nefesh, L'Shem Shemaim, to do Ches with another Yid, and that opens all the gates. Shem should help us. We should be Zaychet to be Gamma Chasadim like that. We have it in our blood from Avram Avinu. But to live up to that and to, uh, and to do kindness with Shem Shemaim to help another Yid. And that should be able to open up all gates of Shefa Brach and Atzlacha for all of us. Shefa Lich de Gevach, Amaz de Gevach, Agul de Gevach, Vivi Eskol Tzedek, Meher Vimeinu Amen.